hello guys welcome back to all in this video today we are going to discuss about the fries rearrangement right let us see what is the fries rearrangement uh, so it is one of the most important topic regarding the organic chemistry so see here the definition is there when an aryl ester is treated with the anhydrous aluminum chloride then what happened the acyl group is migrating to the available ortho and para positions of the aromatic ring so this reaction is known as the fries rearrangement is it okay which means when you treated with the aryl ester with the anhydrous aluminum chloride in that ester group the acyl group is migrating to the available ortho and para positions of the aromatic ring present in that structure and this reaction is known as the fries rearrangement let me explain this arrangement with the example for example take the aryl ester so this is called metacrisyl acetate so this is an ester when it is treated with anhydrous aluminum chloride alcl3 then what happen let us see two types of products will be obtained so what is the first product let us see so like this there are two types of products will be obtained by this reaction so here the when the metacrisyl acetate which means this is there ester it is reacting with aluminum chloride anhydrous aluminum chloride so we obtain two types of product so this is the first product and this is the second product here the first product is obtained at the temperature 25 degree centigrade and the second product is obtained at the temperature 165 degree centigrade which means here at low temperature here the aryl acetate so here at this oxygen this part is called aryl acetate so this acyl group is migrating here from here to so here this uh, acyl group is migrating to the para position of the isomer so this is para isomer in the first case and here the para isomer formed is the major product here at lower temperature the para isomer is formed whereas at the higher temperature the product is called ortho isomer which means this acyl group is migrating at the ortho position of this product so here at the higher temperature the product obtained is called ortho isomer which means when this uh, ester aryl crystal acetate is treating with anhydrous aluminum chloride at lower temperature the para isomer is obtained and at higher temperature ortho isomer is obtained so in the first case at lower temperature the para isomer formed is major product and in the second case the ortho isomer obtained is the major product but here we have to notice one point here so here in this case the para isomer is less stable see here this para isomer is less stable whereas ortho isomer is more stable so the ortho isomer is more stable when compared to the para isomer so that is why again the para isomer is converted into ortho isomer which means this para isomer is again converted into ortho isomer on heating with the aluminum chloride at 165 degree centigrade in presence of alcl3 so this rearrangement is nothing but the fries rearrangement is it clear here in this case this acyl group is migrating in this case generally the fries rearrangement is a inter intermolecular rearrangement so in this case what is the initial step is 
the heterolysis of acyl oxygen bond. And the second step is electrophilic attack by the acylium on the aromatic ring. It leads to the rearrangement product. So in this case, first here, the breakage of bond from oxygen in between oxygen and carbon. SL oxygen bond. This is called SL oxygen bond. So here this SL group is migrating from here to para position and ortho positions of the aromatic ring. So this is the first step. And then the electrophilic attack by the SLM on the aromatic ring. So this is one of the best example to explain the Fry's rearrangement. Let us see one more example. So here the second example, in this example the rearrangement of a mixture of two esters are taken here. So by addition of the two esters in presence of aluminum chloride, we get generally two types of products. So here the above two products formed, these products are called usual products. Here, so here these products are called generally usable products and the products these products are called cross products. So here see in the first product generally here uh, this acyl group ortho oxygen acyl oxygen bond is cleaving here this uh, acyl group is migrating to the this position is it clear. And in the second case also this SL group is migrating here. Generally these are called usual products. Cross products means the same product is there here. But here this group is migrating which means here phosphorus is migrated here. In the second case this SL group is migrating here. So th this type of products are called cross products. So this is also one of the example to explain the Fry's rearrangement. So this is today's class. The Fry's rearrangement. In the next video we will discuss some more topics. Okay. Thank you.